Well guys, um, as you can see I'm a mono apart. I came up here, uh, well I was up here earlier and it was all working fine and then I came, went downstairs, came back upstairs and this monitor just completely died, no power. Now, this monitor originally did have, well that's this monitor's original problem when I got it. The school chucked it out and I brought it home and had a dead soldier joint. So, we're going to investigate, see if it's gonna done the same thing. Was the problem with lead free solder. What it's done, did last time is on the power plug on the bag. I've already plugged in this, the power supply into this, and that's powered up and working, so we know it's not that. Um, anyway, so what we're doing currently is just unscrewing this. We're going to flip the board up, the, uh, the RCD anyway, and we should find the power board. We've probably got no solder on the pins coming out of the power plug. That's what it did last time, so it's because these are very. It's not the cheap actually, it's the fact that the soldering is lead free solder. Because you can't be. It's, it's basically so it stops kids from opening up and licking it and stopping them from getting lead poisoning. Well, I think it's absolutely fucking ridiculous. They've spotted a threat and then tried to fix something which isn't broken. There was nothing wrong with the old stuff. Alright, lift this LCD up. It's fucking heavy, I don't it that much. Um. Oh great, hang on, let's put this down. Got to do some unplugging of components. This does have caps on it, so if anyone ever does this, you should be aware. Ugh, it's got to undo a ground connection on earth. Caps don't. They've got some gluey stuff on them, but otherwise they'd look alright. Ooh, there we go. Right. I'll show you what I mean. There we go. As you can see, it's got this gooey stuff on top. It's just kind of glue them together, I think. It's on all of them. So nothing's blown up. It all looks good. The other stuff I had to unplug was just these. It's just for the backlight. For the CFLs. CCFLs, even. Yeah, it's probably, there's a pin. It's one of the ones for that. It's just come undone. Now I'm probably going to want to check that cap. Make sure it's shorted out. Oh, they screwed up the pants. It's not even a proper insulated one, so. Ooh, right, that's something you can use. Um. Um. Ah ha ha ha. And it's an electrical screwdriver as well. Just want to make sure that's shorted out. I'm pretty sure. This should be good anyway. Yeah, there we go. Right, that's safe now. It's always better safe than sorry. I mean, there's probably not that many caps on here that could do that much damage, but you know. Um, I'm always wary. I've been electrocuted by caps before and got off very luckily because the cap which I got electrocuted from was one of the one was the one on my compressor. That's a Four microfarad cap capacitor has a very high amperage one as well. Has plenty of capability to kill somebody. So I'm very lucky there. I don't remember doing this last time. I must have done. Unplug that because I'm going to need to anyway. Some of that. This. I can't believe this is actually the video board as well. Comes in there. Processor must be on the other side of this board. Oh, it's up there. And I need two hands to get this out because the PCB is very wobbly. I don't want to crack it. And there we go. Is everything disconnected? Yeah. Okay, I'm doing this. So I'll, I'll try to make this one video so you can see what's going on. Because editing is rather tiresome. I don't like editing anymore. Because um, Google, no, sorry, not Google, the new Windows editor is useless. It's truly shit. I can't find. I, can someone tell me if they've used it? Does it have a timeline? Because I can't. I sure for hell can't find a timeline on it. So, yeah, that's what I'm looking for. Something with a timeline where I can cut up videos, take out bits that I don't want, and then piece them together with other videos. I've found several other programs, I've got a couple of them. One of them was working absolutely fine, and then it said right at the end while saving it, 
because this is not a registered product, you will have this massive logo over your video. So that was just very upsetting. I'm still trying to edit that video, so you guys haven't seen it yet. Right, have I missed a screw? Yes, I have. It's hiding behind this. It's, um, behind that transformer. And I believe that's all of them. Nope, because this here is screwed down. And that's screwed to them. Now it should come out. But why doesn't it? Right, um, I'm gonna have to quickly flip this around and I'll take the screws out of the back of that. <sighs> Looks like this isn't gonna be a one part video. Right, uh, there was just two more screws left that I had to undo. So I got them undone, got the board out. Let's see what's wrong with it. Ugh. Whoa! Hang on a minute! Ugh. Anyway, move this 50 onwards. Yeah, I'm, I'm changing this monitor anyway, I don't like this one, just because there's no DVI on it. But oh well, I can't have everything. What's this being screwed on with now? What's holding it on? Right, I'm going to undo this screw anyway, just because the ground wire and it will just keep everything attached. Oh, I see. Huh. It hasn't exploded off. This side here isn't soldered properly. So I'll have to fix that. That one's there. That one there's the one I resoldered already. The reason I could tell how it exploded before was when I looked at this. You can see this kind of big grey mark on here. That's where it kind of got high, and it's just kind of gone pew, out everywhere. So anyway, yeah, we'll investigate this. And there's the processor for the video. Very pathetic, this. It's not designed for graphics or anything. This is kind of an office use uh, monitor. It was in a classroom. It's not designed for anything major. Yeah, this isn't good. I'll check any caps or anything on here. But the uh, LED light on the front's not coming on, so... I'm not sure what it's doing. So, yeah. Um, moving swiftly onwards, I'll uh, go and resolve that joint and we'll test it out. Right, here we go. Got it resoldered. Right, can it focus? Come on. There we go. Got it all fo uh, soldered now, resoldered. The this end one here, which is, I can't remember if that's neutral, live, or what. The plug's upside down at the moment, so hang on, let me just check. Oh, I've lost the plug anyway, so anyway, yeah. Uh, um, it should even say... Right. That there's the cap. Oh, I can't tell. I'm pretty sure this side here was live, and this is the size we're in, so then this time Neutral's done it. I didn't bother resolding any of the other ones. But this time I've done all three of them, so... We're back together, and hope for the best, because... I can't live with just one monitor. How boring is that? Right then, let's see if this works. I haven't bothered putting the screws in the back yet, just because there's no point. I can't get, I can't touch anything live. This is holding some cover on. Plug this in. And we'll find the plug. Hey, hey, it's working. We now have a light. Power comes on, and we have our monitor back. Finally. Right, all I have to do now is whack the screws back in. I need it down for that. I'm gonna make, well soon I will be making a um, a monitor stand, because this has the four holes in the back, as does my Dell monitor. I will be getting two Dell monitors eventually, but because this has main holes as well, I'm gonna make an adjustable one, which slides back, where the monitors slide backwards and forwards on a rail. And I can have a decent base on the bottom. I'm not sure what I'm going to use as a base yet, but you know, we'll figure something out. I want it to look pretty. So, uh, yeah, not really much else to say. I'll try and start doing that soon, actually. The um, monitor stand, because both of these monitors don't have stands. I used to have the stand for this one, 
but I never had one for the Dell. It was a manufacturer refurbished one on um, eBay. I don't know what's wrong with it. Maybe stand broke or the uh, board in it went, cracked screen sink, but it all went back to Dell and they fixed it. So I've got that back. I've got that one there, the dirt cheap. And the picture quality on it is fantastic. So I'll get two of them and put them on the same stand as what this one's going to be on. Here we go. Oops, sorry, I didn't mean to zoom in. There we go. Let's get the mouse back over here. Oh, so I mean, this mouse is useless. I'm trying to go up and down, it won't let me. I can only go side to side. Useless without something to put it on. There we go. Ah, two monitors back. That makes me very happy. You can see, you can tell the colour difference now. This one, the settings on it are now going to be different because I think it's been. Because it, well, I got turned off today. Um, let's go and check. Oh, I'm using this monitor so much. Okay, yeah, it's all still good. It's remembered me. Right, there we go. And this one here is a bit grainy. See up there. That could be to do with a picture. Just because it's a film crop. So, yeah. Oh well, that's that done. Um, I have to edit this now. Ooh, the fun.